In this video, we're going to be going over how to create email marketing campaigns for your online retail store. What's up guys? If you are new to the channel, my name is Hannah Gardner and in this channel we talk about anything and everything that has to do with e-commerce and building brands online. If that is something that you're into, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it helps my channel grow and that's what we're trying to do. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified every single time we put out a video. Alright guys, I am going to hop into my computer screen right now and I'm going to show you live how I build email marketing campaigns for my online retail store. I just want to preference this video. This is how I send email marketing campaigns. Everything in this channel is just showing back what has worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. I'm not saying that this is the ultimate way to send email marketing campaigns or the best way. This is just how I personally do it. And hopefully you get some insight or some kind of guidance on your own email marketing campaigns that you're trying to create. Now, the first thing that you have to know about email marketing in order to send out email campaigns, you have to have a software that does that. So there's a bunch of softwares that host emails for your Shopify store that you go to the Shopify app store and connect with your Shopify store. And then all your customers and all your leads that you get that come to your website get hosted in a software. I have a whole playlist on why I use Omnisend. Omnisend is the software that I personally use to do all my email marketing, um, as well as like my pop-up form that's on my website. There is Klaviyo, there is, there used to be like one called MailChimp. There's a bunch of different softwares. You can check out my other video on why I chose Omnisend over Klaviyo. I would say Klaviyo and Omnisend are probably the two biggest players when it comes to email marketing and they're both great. I personally just use Omnisend so I'm going to be building this out right now in my Omnisend account or if you don't want to use Omnisend. What I'm teaching in here is pretty much congruent for many types of softwares. So what you're going to see inside my account today does look very similar to other like email hosting softwares. So. Don't fret it <laughs> if you don't end up going with Omnisend. You'll still find a lot of value out of this video on how to actually build an email campaign. So with that being said, I am going to hop into my desktop view uh, right now. So we are inside the interface of my Omnisend account. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about all the other specs of email marketing. This video is specifically teaching you how to send out a one-off campaign. If you are not versed in the email marketing world, please do go check out my playlist where I teach you a lot more in-depth things about email marketing, what email marketing entails as a whole. Um, but in this video, I'm showing you how to set a campaign. So that means you want to send a one-off email to your list. That's basically what a campaign is. So we're going to come up here and we're going to click on campaigns. Um, these are some of the past campaigns that I've had um, and it shows you some of the some of the returns and the specs on your open rates, how much sales have driven you, what, uh, what the click through rates were um, and all those things. But what we're going to be focusing on here is something called the new campaign button. We're going to click here and you can see there's a bunch of different options on you know, different types of campaigns if you want to get more advanced. You can split test two different emails against each other to see which one converts better. You can do an SMS campaign if you're collecting phone numbers, um, which this you have to pay per text message a few cents. This I've actually never used before, but we're going to go into just creating an email campaign here. Now inside of Omnisend, the first thing that it's going to send you to is your subject line. So if you don't know anything about email marketing is one of the most important aspects of email marketing. It's hard enough to grow your list and then also send out emails, but then also get people to actually open your emails. That's probably one of the hardest parts is getting someone to actually open an email campaign. So it's really, really important that your subject line is enticing um, and adds value. It's something that they look at and they're like, Ooh, like what's this? Like, I want to open this, right? Cause think of how many emails people get every single day. So you want to make sure that your subject line is really just value driven, right? You don't want to make it seem spammy because nobody likes spam. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, but if you're sending this to your list, they've probably bought something from you before. So they, hopefully they like you. So whatever your subject line is, you want to make sure that it's a value driven subject line. What are they going to get out of opening this email? They want to know that at the get go um, when you send this email. So um, in this campaign, I'm going to be sending an email of a, a gift. So I'm going to, it's going to make more sense later in the video, but basically I'm sending them a gift and who doesn't love 
gift. So just another side note, I'm specifically sending this email to active email subscribers. So people that have either just entered my email list in the last 30 days, or they have opened one of my emails in the last 90 days. So that is like the OmniSend standard of an active email subscriber. And it's really important that you're constantly scrapping email, like dead emails. So emails that you just have in your list where you know, you've sent them emails over the last 300 days and they've never opened one of your emails. If someone's never opened one of your emails in like a year, <laughs> um, that pretty much indicates that it's a dead email. And you might say, well, Hannah, why would I just get rid of the email? Like if I have the email, why not? Maybe they'll open one of my emails. Well, in email marketing, that actually does the reverse effect because you're getting graded on all these platforms. Um, there's kind of like, don't quote me on this, but there is like a legality point, a legal aspect to this where you can't spam. You have to remember that these softwares also are not in an industry of spamming people. So you're getting graded based off your open rates, your click through rates, your purchase rates. These softwares have that data. So if you have a thousand emails that essentially are just dead emails, what you're doing is you know, your CTRs and your, your open rates percentage goes lower and lower and lower because you're just sending emails to dead emails. So that's telling OmniSend that your emails are probably not really that good. Where you could have got like a B or an A, you're kind of giving yourself like a C or a D. And so what that does on the back end is that it makes it more likely for your emails to get pushed to the promotional folder or the spam folder. So you want to make sure that you're really sending emails out to active and engaged clients or past customers in your list. And we're going to go back to the subject line and I am going to put here, um, we are sending you a gift. I'm going to say thank you so much for, and then I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot. This is something that I like to do because if I say we're sending you a gift, thank you so much for, they're like, well, what did I do? That's kind of like a value driven, like I'm going to click this to find out why am I getting this gift and what did I do to deserve this gift? And basically the idea behind this email is I'm sending this to active email customers or active people in my email list. So I'm going to say thank you so much for your brand loyalty for, you know, purchasing from our store in the past and checking us out um, and spending time inside our store. This helps us a lot grow and work towards our dreams. <laughs> so something along those lines, that's what this email campaign is specifically about. So that is the subject line. And then you have something in here called a campaign booster. And I'm going to go ahead. I always opt into the campaign booster. Basically what this is, is it's going to send a second email to everybody that didn't open the first email after 48 hours. And you can split test actually here the second subject line if you want. I normally do change it, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it the same for right now. So I'm gonna copy this here and I'm gonna put this here. You wanna make sure that your sender name is for your business, the email address. Um, you can name the campaign for your own like internal uh, remembering, if that even makes sense. Gift box, thank you campaign. And spell campaign. I guess I can't. All right. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go to the next step. The next step is choosing the template that you want. Right, OmniSend is super cool because there's a bunch of different options in here that they already have pre made for you. There's also theme templates in here, so you can come in here and build them off one of these. Or you can save previous temp, like previous emails that you've created, and then you just it's already set up the way, the format that you like, and then you can just go back and edit it and change the picture off of those. But we're just gonna come in here and go on a standard template. We're gonna select the first one right here. So OmniSend is super, super easy. It's very similar to Shopify. If you have any experience building out your Shopify store, it's very, very drag and drop. So the, the whole point of this email, again, is to give a gift. And I talk about this in some of my other videos that OmniSend really excels when it comes to email marketing for e-commerce because they have a lot of very interaction-based boxes here that you can add into your email. So this one's like a scratch card right here. So if I put this in here, basically this leads them to a landing page to scratch something off and they get a prize. 
So like I said before, it's hard enough to get people to open your emails. It's a whole other story to get people to actually click through to the website. So if it's a gamma, gamified you know, email where it's enticing them to do more interaction with you, that's gonna definitely help your click through rates to get them to your website. But we're gonna come in here and we're gonna actually do the gift box. You can come in here and change the logo. You will also have to come in here and set up the settings for the gift box. So the gift box text, click to open it. Text for those who open the gift box. So what is the prize that they're gonna get? Congrats, you just won. Let's just be weird and say 27% off your next your next purchase you're going to send them to their website we're going to come here and do a confirmation email this is going to let me send them a confirmation email of their code when they get when they do open the gift box so we're going to give them the code let's say love 20. so this is just the confirmation is a really cool feature because you can turn it off but if say once they open the gift box inside the email it right away gives them the coupon code um say they go to the website they don't use it well this form by them going through this process it will actually send them a confirmation code so just in case they go to the website they don't buy anything they forget then when they go back to check their email that second time they'll have a confirmation of their gift so they'll see it again so there'll be two impressions on one try another thing that i like to do with my emails is I like to use something called Canva. So Canva is like literally like Photoshop for dummies. It's kind of like the same thing as this as drag and drop. Like if I wanted to come over here and like put in a text, I can enter text here. That's a title. But if I wanted to come over here and add like a full like text option for like copywriting, you can do that here, but what I kind of like to do is I like to use Canva and make all my copywriting inside an image. And so I can really, really customize it that way and customize my branding because um, in here you're kind of limited to the fonts and the styles of the software. So this is a little bit more advanced. Canva is something that you've probably heard of before, but it's literally like the easiest software when it comes to creating like custom anything with photos, right? So open your gift, let's just, this is really ugly, but see what you win, something like that. Open your gift, or let's just leave it at open your gift. This is like not cute at all, but you know what, we're just trying to do just, well, let's make it a little cuter. Can duplicate this, pull it down, put XOXO, and then we can change the font. Yeah, Canva really, really excels when it comes to just basically creating like a mood board or just any design for your website and it saves everything. So all these fonts in here are actually fonts that I bought and downloaded. Um, so it's like, it makes it super easy to use. So let's put this. We're gonna put open your gift. Cool. Or let's also add in here. We're gonna add a thank you so much. Thank you for being a loyal customer. We're gonna change the size here. We're gonna make it like 50. Okay, let's make it like 80. Okay, now we're going to just download this. We're gonna download it as a JPEG. We're gonna download just the first one. And then it's super easy. Canva has all these really cool features over here. A lot of elements that you can add in. I personally pay for the year plan just because Canva is probably between Canva, Canva and OmniSend and just like a few other apps. They're ones that I use consistently every single day. Um, so we're going to come in here and we're going to actually add this image. This box right here, by the way, is an image which was already there. We're going to select from our computer, recents, let's see, and we're going to upload it. Cool, so we're going to actually move this up, so something like this, 
And maybe I'll even add in some more copy, like, thank you for being a royal customer. Open the box below to see what you got for being an active customer. Um, so this is really, really like the basics of like setting up, setting up an email campaign. But as you can see, there's so many different things that you can come in here. There's things like automatic discount codes. You have product recommenders, which is even something that we can put in below this here. So it could be like products recommended for you, something like that. And this actually enters in, this is all synced to your Shopify store already. So it will dynamically add products based off the previous products that they've bought. And well, the types of people that bought those specific products, what other types of products they bought, so it would recommend those products dynamically. So just really, really advanced features in here. If I can spell today. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna preview this. This is already gonna get dynamically filled in. We're gonna delete this. Uh, we're basically just showing you this as an example. This is also pretty ugly. You can come in here and change the type of box, so, so the color of it and everything. Let's just go back real quick and see. So let's go and we are going to preview this here. So it says click here to open your box. It brings you to a landing page. Click the box to open. Congrats, you just won 27% off. And now you can say visit our website and it's gonna take them directly to the website. So I don't know, I think that's a really cool interactive feature for somebody um, and definitely pretty enticing to get them into the store. Obviously this is like super ugly and you're going to want to add your logo and make it a lot prettier. Um, but just for the, the common basics of sending out emails, this is what I would do to create a campaign. You always want to send a test to yourself first. So make sure it actually works inside a mobile view. Make sure you're looking at it in mobile and desktop before you just blast it off to your email list. We're gonna just hit next. Let's just say that that email was way better looking. What you can do is you can come in here and you can send it to all your subscribers or you can choose a segment. So inside of Omnisend and Klaviyo and pretty much every email software, you can group up specific groups of customers together, um, which I'll show this in actual, another video on how to organize your contacts. But say you just wanted to send it to everybody, you would go ahead to the next step. If you want to choose a segment, so a specific group of people, so this group of people that I want to send it to are my active email customers. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to active subscriber. So those are the people that have been added to my list in the last 30 days, or they have opened up my email campaigns in the last 90 days. And then we're gonna hit next step. And basically it's gonna have you review and confirm um, all the details, the subject line, the sender, if you wanna send now, or you can actually schedule out campaigns for later. So if you do have an internal marketing team, um, you know, you can have them have campaigns scheduled out for, you know, the next month. So then you just set them up and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, but then in theory, I would just hit send now and then your email campaign would be sent out. And that would be it. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video about how to set up email campaigns for your online store. If you did get any value out of this at all, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and do turn on your notification bell because then you'll know when we're posting more videos. Um, and again, if you do want to check out, I have a link in the description for Omnisend. You can go start a trial with them or you can watch some of my other Omnisend videos on why I actually use Omnisend over Klaviyo. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.